Welcome to the Ravens Report. Thanks for watching. I'm Mason. And I'm Ryan. It's Wednesday, April 10th. Today's no cheat trivia question. Do penguins have knees? Let's get to today's announcements. FBLA competed at state last weekend and did very well. Kathy Chen took first in business calculations personal finance. Kelly Pig took first in business communications and third in entrepreneurship. Casey Free and Aaron Bordas took third in social media strategies. And Jimena Villagrana Romero took fourth in UX design. Great job, Ravens. Seniors, please check your emails for two Google Forms. The first is leadership about prom court, and the second is from yearbook looking for senior superlatives. Please let your voice be heard. Baseball and softball started a league yesterday at Summit, and both got wins over the storm. For the boys, it was a great game that went to extra innings, allowing Mason Scott to hit a two-run home run in the top of the eighth to secure the lead, which the Ravens held on to in the bottom of the inning. Great win, Ravens. Softball was also on the road and got a solid win in a defensive battle. The girls won 2-0. to zero. Both teams face off against Summit again today at home. Come support them. Also, track is on the road at Summit this afternoon as well. Tennis faced off against Bend High yesterday in their second league match. Girls were on the road and got a solid win, taking all four doubles matches in straight sets. And one singles, Bree Ross earning the fifth match needed for a team win. One dub, Sydney Cassaro and Dari Streeter are now 6-0 and 0, with a match at home versus Redmond High on Thursday and the Central Oregon invite this Friday and Saturday. Boys tennis played a tough team, betting team at home yesterday and had some excellent matches in, du- in the duel. Key wins were the two doubles, Kean Nelson and Kai Lewis, who put up a very strong 6-1, 6-0 win. Ashton Markham and Isaiah Howells, who won against, who won again in straight sets, as did Chance Bottorf. Unfortunately, some competitive matches went Ben's way, and the Ravens fell 3-5. to five. Next up is Redmond High on Thursday. Go Ravens! And now let's head over to the sports desk for Raven Center. Hello, this is Raven Center. I'm your host, Ellie Owen. We'll be discussing all the latest from the national sports scene. Today it's all about the MLB. We have two guests, Mason Scott and Keenan Blackledge. Thanks for having us. Glad to be here. So the season just started, but we want to know who we should be keeping an eye on. Let's start in the American League. Which team do you see as the team to beat and why? I'll go first. Oh, okay, I guess. Do you want to? No, no, go ahead. All right. The team to beat in the AL this year is the Baltimore Orioles. They got a young core of great guys, headlined by Adley Rutschman, an Oregon State legend. And I think they're the team to beat. They got out uh, this offseason, spent some money, made some trades. They got some good pitching, and I think they're the team to beat. Keenan, do you agree? Well, no. I think the Rangers. Personally, they won the World Series last year, and they proved themselves. They came from really nothing last year and showed up and beat some good teams pretty well. Okay, let's move to the National League. Keenan, who do you got? Uh, I'm getting the Dodgers. You know, some play overrated, but Shohei, Freddie Freeman. They're, on, they're amazing. The Dodgers are not winning nothing, bro. The last time they won in 2020, COVID year, that's Mickey Mouse. Give me the Atlanta Braves. The Dodgers are overrated. Give me Ronald Acuna Jr., MVP last year. He's the best player in baseball. Shohei, uh, gambling. He's going to get suspended, bro. The Braves are going to win it all. Interesting. Of course, the season is full of plenty of games, and it's not only about who's number one. What are some other stories we should all be following this season? Personally, I think Shohei, he's, he's been amazing with the bat. Yeah, I think he's going to be amazing with the bat. I mean, obviously they don't have his arm this year, but like next year they'll, they'll be good with his arm. Um, team to follow, storyline, give me the Pittsburgh Pirates. They're coming out of nowhere. First in the NL this year, they've been not good for a while now. And just to see him off to a hot start, 9-2 and two on the year, um, think they could go a long way potentially this year well that's great well that's all the time we have thanks for coming in i'm your host ellie owen and this is raven center that's our show for today the answer to today's no cheat trivia question do penguins have knees yes a penguin's legs are built up of femur knee tibia and fibula just like yours
As always, check out our YouTube page at youtube.com slash Ravens. I'm Ryan. And I'm Mason. Have an epic day, stay safe, and stay classy.